Hello, Randy here, K7AGE. This video is to show you how to put together a simple 6 meter dipole antenna. This video is part of my Get On 6 series to get you on 6 meters easily. Because many of the radios now have 6 meter capability and I'm going to show you how to build a simple portable dipole antenna for 6 meters. I'm not going to go into all the detail because I think once you see one example you'll be able to put one together yourself depending on your building skills. One of the things that makes it easy about building a dipole is that you can feed it with coax so you don't need any fancy matching sections it's all fairly easy. Just take the coax and connect the center to one end of the dipole and the shield of the coax to the other part of the dipole antenna. If we remember our formula for a length of a dipole you divide 468 by the megahertz that you want the antenna to be resonant for and that'll give you the overall length in feet. So for six meters where we want to kind of operate is 50.125. 50.125. This is the national calling frequency. So what this is used for is that when the band may not be open, that's the frequency you should listen on. When the, the band becomes open, if you make a contact on there, you really should move up the band. So we want to be able to, to take and design the antenna to work basically a little bit above 50.125. So if we plug in 50.125 into the formula, that means each part of the dipole is about 4 feet 8 inches long. So it's less than 10, 10 feet. If we look at, say, midpoint up the band, say 51.66, the antenna becomes shorter and it's 4 feet 6.3 inches on each, each side. So the antenna I built is out of two pieces of aluminum tubing, about a half inch in diameter. I started off with each one five feet long. You always want to cut them longer so you can trim them to get down into the band. I picked up a piece of plexiglass at a local glass store for free and with some various nuts and bolts and some U-bolts I basically built a center piece of uh, for the dipole. Here's the uh, center of the dipole. I have a piece of plexiglass and I have some bolts through the plexiglass, some quarter inch bolts and I have wing nuts on there so I can take the elements off or at least one element off when I want to travel make it less than five feet instead of ten feet long. I have a couple U-bolts which I'll attach to a mask and I have my SO259 connector And here's the back side. So basically the center pin of the coax connector goes to one element and the ground side of the connector goes to the other element. And like I said again, you could kind of build this center part out of PVC tubing and just have some small PVC tubing for each element, say half inch, and just run some wire down the elements and you'd still have a dipole. The tubing is what I had on hand, so that's what I used. A piece of one inch PVC tubing, which I have slid down inside of an inch and a quarter tubing, and I have the coax set up here. I mounted a SO259 connector, so it allows just a standard coax to be attached to the, uh, to the antenna. Makes it easy. I like to have all my antennas using PL259 so I can carry multiple different lengths with me for various portable operations makes everything interchangeable. So here I have it on my piece of uh, tubing and I have a I have a tripod light stand thing so I'm just going to set it up in the air here swing it around here Now let's check to see if it's resonant. To check the resonant and the tuning of the antenna, I have an MFJ269 antenna analyzer. You could also do this using an SW bridge or the SW indicator inside your 
inside your radio. As you advance along in your ham radio career, you'll start to collect various pieces of test gear, and this is a handy one to have. Okay, to use this, you basically turn it on, you connect up uh, the antenna to it, it has a band switch, so you select the band, I'm on the 27 to 70 megahertz, because I'm trying to dial into 50, not 125, it has a tune control, so as I adjust that, I can see the SWR dip and it's resonant at 46 megahertz, which is not quite the right frequency. It's quite a bit low, which means the antenna is long, and the antenna is five, five foot long on, on each side. So now I need to trim it down and to bring it into resonance. So now I get to shorten the elements, get the hacksaw out, and cut off a few inches on each end. Okay, each element is five feet long, so 60 inches. The formulas show, say that it should be four feet, eight inches. So at 56 inches here, I'm going to cut this on each end. And now for the other end. Okay, I cut off four inches here. Let's see where it's resonant now. Tuning for minimum SWR. And it's showing 48.9, call it 49 megs. Yeah, here I can see the meter directly. So, I think I'm going to take another inch off. Okay, let's see where it's resonant now. Right there's minimum 50.292. That will work. So anything we want to be above 50.125. Let's also check the SWR up near the FM part of the band. So that's up around 52 and a half. There you go, 52.525 is where the FM simplex is. And it reads 1.92, which means I can use this antenna on both sideband as well as FM. So here it is, all trimmed out, ready to work. Now you may ask, why do I have the mast sticking out above the top? Well, I have another antenna I'm going to put up there. Well, what goes on the top of all that is this. This is a elk antenna. It's fairly compact, really light. It's two meters and 450. In fact, you can use this to work the satellites. So the PVC tubing isn't strong enough to support my aero antenna like you've seen on the other video. Now the antenna is portable, it comes apart. The antennas or the elements unscrew just like on the aero antenna. So you can unscrew all the elements, just rubber band it together. Just put it back together here. This is a log periodic. So I don't fully understand how this works on both bands. I think probably it's a multiple of 450 for each of the element lengths. There's two tubes that make up the log ray. The coax connector on the end here, the center connects to the top, the shield connects to the bottom. It has this PVC piece here in the middle and it's a, it'll accept a one inch piece of PVC tubing that's why I have a one inch there. This rotates, so right now it would be go on the top for horizontal. If you wanted to use it for FM, you can just rotate that and stick it on the top and work FM. So here it is on top of my mast. I just need to add a piece of coax. So that's up here above my six meter dipole. So now I'm all ready to go work portable on six, two, and 440. The elk antenna has, has enough bandwidth so I can work uh, the side band, parts of the band. So here I'm all set for, th for three bands with a portable op operation. Probably the safe thing to do is to run a couple pieces of light rope from the six meter antenna out to some stakes so this whole thing doesn't blow over. Okay, so I've showed you how to build a simple dipole 
showed you how I put mine together. Basically, anything with a couple pieces of wire or tubing, start off at about five feet long, trim it down. You can use an SWR bridge with your radio. You want to make sure if you're doing it that way, you set your power down low on the radio and do it very quickly. Just pick a frequency key up, adjust the SWR for forward, go to reverse, read the SWR, and then unkey and make a few notes as you change different frequencies to see where you're resident. Again, I made my dipole out of some aluminum tubing that I happen to have laying around. You can use PVC, like I said, some half inch pieces and a T and just run some wire down. And if you don't want to use a coax connector, you can just solder the coax on and run a length on and plug it into the radio. It's uh, pretty easy to build. It will work. With the contest, there'll be a lot of stations on they'll be looking for you. So put this together, go up to a hilltop in your area and see what you can work. And this antenna makes it easy to transport. You can break it apart in half. It's only five feet long with some tubing. You can lash it on the roof rack of your car and go up to a hilltop and have fun. 73s, have fun building your antenna. Look for you on six meters. Randy, K78GE.